Hey there everybody, welcome back to more Alive. Thankfully I was able to play a bit of work and I have an idea of what is coming up next, but even better, some very rough Google translating from a uh, YouTube commenter has helped, I guess, elucidate some of what has been going on. I guess uh, Goatee had tricked Atsuko into coming to the hotel room by pretending to be Akira via a video call. And I, I guess there was a dead body in the tub, and I guess there was a murder 17 years ago uh, for with all the mayors of the different alphabetical cities in this uh, sectioned off piece of Japan. It was all, it's all in the, the video comments, but for right now, I think we should be able to make our way to the end of this too, as long as Atsuko is able to survive. So let's get started. As you recall, last time we didn't manage to make our way out of the uh, hotel, and while there was a side story about a woman being followed, our, our main, uh, main focus right now is young Atsuko, and I, I guess her attempts to actually uh, join back up with Akira, wherever he might be. But yeah, I think I finally realized that this story isn't currently taking place in 2013. That's just when all the horrible terrorist murders took place. And this is you know, 17 years later where it seems like a, a similar series of events are taking place. That is the current story that I've been able to, to gather. And oh yeah, fire! Yeah, Atsuko kind of gives up the whole pretense of not totally fucking murdering people and... Yeah, she just starts to open fire because why not? Thankfully, these shooting sections seem pretty lenient. There's no real aiming, you just kind of have to press the interaction button whenever, you know, the little target pops up, so... It, uh, it can definitely catch you by surprise since, man, this is a high-intensity bang-bang shoot-em-up section. But I actually find the old uh, target shooting to be uh, a bit more lenient than the directional QTEs. Those seem to be a, a lot more strict. These uh, red shirt security guards, they go down pretty easily. Also, can I say how much I love this music? It is amazing. And futuristic. Oh man. Just a more, more wonderful time in the late 90s with their visions of the future. I'm sure. People out there have seen such hit films as Hardware or Death Machine with their cyberpunk visions of the future and the fact that I, I guess the future was mostly the, the dumpster of a radio shack with you know, random bits of outdated technology. Yeah, at this uh, Japanese flea market, Atsuko is trying to get, I guess, an upgrade to her PDA device. And thankfully, the, the mayor of the flea market is nice enough to, I guess, make a, a trade. So she is upgrading from her old PDA to a much more fanciful, uh, obstructive PDA. There's no escaping the all-seeing eye of the JBS, though. Her high-profile high murder and subsequent killing spree is uh, still very much the talk of the town. I 
And though it seems like she might be you know, about to be raped or attacked by Japanese Hunter S. Thompson here, he's actually nice and gives us a magic key card. It's a bit hard to tell, but the uh, yeah that woman there, she was the one that was being followed. She seems to be out to help Atsuko, which is really nice of her. And she also has her own little nifty spy camera. she gave us has some encrypted data. Let's see, uh, see if we can at least parse some information from the, uh, the image. So yeah, I haven't really shown it off, but the it does give us a, a collection of items that we've gotten. I guess our original uh, PDA here was a, a speaky, which is good because we've, uh, we've upgraded to a navigator. That's... That looks clunky. It looks like a very clunky tablet with a little nipple on it, so... I guess that's a good upgrade. Also, our gun is a dolphin. Which is an imposing name for a weapon. Also, I didn't realize it, but there is a map of the hotel. Doesn't really seem like it has much use. I, I, it, I mean, we couldn't, like, navigate to other places with this, as far as I could tell. So, it just seems like additional uh, background flavor. And it looks like whatever we got there might be of some additional use. Yeah, we also got a new piece of news. See, so I was talking more about the explosion. Something about ABC. And since it is squared off, that means that there's more information on it. So it's some kind of concoction with A, B, and C. Makes me think there might be a puzzle regarding that in the future, but I guess we will we will just have to see. And also A and B. Just more information to collect, but I think for right now we should be able to, to get out of the flea market and continue on. But now before we are manhandled by a vagabond and possibly have something stolen, it's a bit, we got a bit lost there. Well, this can't be good, right? We will protect the child from goatee. And so he is a very persistent man. Only though he seems to have himself stuck between a rock and a hard place. And I don't... I really don't want to wa have this child watch this man just explode to death, so let's be clever. Which means run straight into the fire! Seems to be the end of our goateed stalker. He does seem to have a ID card on him. But yeah, a part of me thinks that maybe they were trying to make you think the kid was trying to lead you into a trap or something, but it doesn't really come across that way.
And if it was, it was a very poorly thought out trap. But yeah, this is... Wow, this is, uh... It screams the 90s. Kind of a... Gelled up, oily bangs and... Miskin... Like, I had to learn a while ago that the, uh, the term for the mustache-goatee combination, I guess it's called a Van Dyke. I don't really know what the, uh... What, what, what you might call it if they are not connected. So, it's a bit of a mystery. But yeah, this uh, Keita Morimoto was our would-be assassin. And he's got some data, but we can't really do anything with it. So, it's a bit of a shame. But, if we use that security data thing that we just got, yeah, it actually does unlock secret data for him. I'm sure it would be very interesting to know what this says. It seems to be, uh, you know, a chronology of something he was doing, maybe giving some backstory about why he was trying to kill us and or frame us for mayoral murders. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll be another job for Google Translate. For right now, though, with Morimoto out of the picture, I think we should be safe for a little while longer. But that is actually the end of the first disc. There are a total of three discs, and I don't know. Maybe I will continue on. We'll just have to see if they actually function. So far, this has been relatively stable. I've actually run into one situation where it kind of got into a uh, an unresponsive loop, and I think the game pretty much crashed. But I don't know. Maybe they get. Maybe I should be able to finish it. We 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 will see. But hopefully, you will join me next time as we find out what future lies in store for our poor Atsuka.